Hey internet, how's it going? Uh, we're gonna continue with this. Cause why not, right? I actually like this game. I have uh, played through it. Uh, when I first got it, obviously. And I like it, I like it. It's uh, it's different than what I usually play, so. Whatever. I don't remember what I was doing. But, you know, you can't get lost in this game, so it doesn't matter. Can I touch it? <laughs> Damn, okay. How about we just be nice? With more of that, we'll surely be on the way to Lush Greenery in no time! Okay, Turing, you're cute, but your smile is still a little creepy, bro. Alright. Probably. Every bit will help in the end! Are you sure about that? <laughs> Didn't mean to give you a drinking problem. I think Wilty will survive just yet. Oh yeah, we're gonna go see Tomcat, that's right. Hi! Hi. Aw, thanks for the hug. <laughs> No comment, but you're welcome. Wow, you really like giving hugs. Good thing I do too. Um, uh, in real life, no. Mm, you can explore my functions later. <laughs> no comment. We can hug some more later too, if that's what you want to do. Okay, uh, uh, we, we, we gotta go. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. Partying silhouettes painted on the windows. Nice. Hold up there. Got ID? Mayhaps. Malk! I forgot I had that. What the fuck are you doing? they're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice, authentic touch. <laughs> Stop. <sighs> Why would I try to hug the bouncer? Ah, uh, whatever. Welcome to Stardust. Thank you. What's a mulk? Alright, looks good to me. This is the real door. What? What does it do? Oh, nothing. You just gotta. Well, you look at the Welcome reef. To reef. Shit, I cannot talk. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? Yeah, my other playthrough. Um, whatever. Let me see. I'm trying not to pick the same uh, ones. I played like a, a mean person. You know, basically myself. Um, my last playthrough. 
So let's go with um, this one. It does seem to be a bit boisterous for your taste, at least from what I know of them. <laughs> Still, okay. the noise and the crowd should help keep our investigation clandestine. Yay, we're spies or some shit. Anyway, where do you think we should start? <laughs> we're hitting the bar, okay? <laughs> Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Oh, yeah, that too. Whatever. It's a chair. But it's purple! Are you saying that I can't hug the chair? Talk about disappointment. Oh, fine. <clears throat> Arena box. can I do for you? Morning. Huh. Okay. Um, since apparently I'm an alcoholic, I would like a beer. A bud. What are you having? Buzzer, sickly sky, rusted lace, wiener juice? What the fuck? Butch flower. <laughs> Last time I didn't um read through these. I'm regretting that now. Subtle bitch. <laughs> Is a bitch subtle? I never thought about that. Modest Connie. Nice. Fucking I don't know. That's my life motto. Fucking I don't know. Bionic Femme. Blue Fairy, huh? There's my brew. Let's see what else you have. Whiskey and beer. That's so generic. Like, where's we? Where is wiener juice? I want that. I'm so excited I can barely talk. Wiener juice. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Apparently, wieners. I don't fucking know. Drink generic. The open alcoholopedia says. <laughs> Tumbler with ice filled halfway with amaretto. Did I say that right? And the remainder with heavy cream. Heavy cream, huh? I don't know if I want this. I mean, wiener juice, heavy cream, doesn't sound right. Does that sound good? Um. Fuck it. Ah, alright, you got it. Coming right up. Even he wasn't sure. Ah, alright. <laughs> This game, I love now, it. Now, what is it's it great. you need to know? Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. So, what do you want to know? Not to be rude, but don't 
places like this come and go in a flash, but they say Stardust is forever. That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But, I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha! <laughs> after two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. We got some regulars around, they started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. Cool. Mostly got myself into trouble. When I emigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. <laughs> In quotations, huh? Okay. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular, peaceful. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> ah. Hayden, scientist guy, does some kind of computer research in Parallax. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Mm -hmm. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Cool, thanks. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck! Alright, GG. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. I won't. I'm gonna drink this wiener juice and go fight Tomcat. Excuse me. <laughs> Down the hatch, bitch. <clears throat> that hit the spot, huh? You drank your drink. Cool. What the fuck? Hey, I wanna... the nightclub. There's no club in that sentence. I don't know how to read. Fuck. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I love this game. This game is sick. Um, are those real people, or are they painted silhouettes? I'm concerned. Okay, apparently they're real. I mean, as real as a video game can get, you know what I'm talking about? Alright, whatever. Talk to this bitch. Or not. Touch? My whole life is a death wish. Hey, girl. Yes? Can I help you? Uh... Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. Okay. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. Okay. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. You're like a cat. I don't... Not into that. 
We could be friends, though. Me either. I don't do genotypicals. <sighs> Good to know. And I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. Sorry, did you say genotypical? <laughs> yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. I'm not here to be educated, so stop being a fucking bitch. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. Fuck you. Besides, your ears look like a bat, bitch. <clears throat> Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. She, not her, or them, but the cat bitch, she really gets under my skin. And I love cats, but I don't like this one. Fuck you. Yours truly, doll. Although, while I like the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I do my share of flirting both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. And a racist. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the pleasure? It's cool though, whatever. I got my life to live. I don't need no cat up my ass anyway. Missing. I'm joking. Well, it's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Okay. Do you know about me? You're too cute not to, Turing. What's up? You never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS, so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Aww. Whatever, let's move on. Hayden never <laughs> saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lipso as dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Oh, sure! <laughs> you might have even heard of me in the news way back when. Nope. About ten years ago, I nope. hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. <laughs> Ooh, caused one hell of a stink, if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. Earned myself an enforced nap blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. <laughs> for the prestige. I love it. North Carolina, dog. Sure, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. Actually, when I first played this and I heard uh, Tomcat speak, I thought she was Australian. And then I clicked that, I'm like, oh, okay. Because the way that she pronounces words, it sounds like an Australian accent. I don't know, maybe I'm not Still, paying attention. This ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Whatever. Clothes, I had to get a third walk-in closet. I don't know. I don't uh, really I don't do care. it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. Sometimes she sounds Australian, other times she sounds Southern, other times I don't fucking care. I 
chalk it up to the exuberance of youth. And now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Straight and narrow? What the fuck? Is that fun? Almost, like... Alright, cool. Sometimes. <laughs> cool. GG. <laughs> oh, oh, my kid. Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little Batcave. Oh, cool. Batman reference, I love it. Huh? To see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. Maybe. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Okay. Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. No comment. Move on. Oh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. Hmm. Can you explain it like I'm a child? <laughs> That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs. Oh my god. Within range. I love this game. And they share all files the user has tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like NeoSF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. I still don't get it. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck, indeed. I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Aw, oh, Turing. Well... Let's see, uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, oof, that might have changed things. Mayhaps. Turing is a cute robot. When the robot isn't smiling like a creeper. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess. I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him. But... <laughs> Wait, that wasn't funny. The fuck? He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. What the fuck is Jess's problem? Oh, don't you worry about Jess, none. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Yeah, me too. But you know what? I still treat people with respect. a caustic jerk, who isn't at times. Let's go with people are assholes. Why not? Whew, they are. Especially the hybrids, though I think it's more the way they look than the way they act. Now that is just fucking stupid. Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. Well, I'm not gonna bother her. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. Me too. Well, she does owe me a favor. Or three. But I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? <laughs> Why? Help a girl out. Yeah, I'm not real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. That's always a good thing to know. Yeah, I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. That was rude. 
Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? Shut up. We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. His being vanished? Never heard it put that way before. I like it. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. That's a good idea. The data cache would be the best place to start. Okay. When I have the data cache. Good luck. Turn, you you keep out of trouble. Keep out of trouble? Huh. <laughs> Good luck. Indeed. Alright, let's bother Jess. Kitty has claws. Better be going to acknowledge this again. <laughs> what I up? saw you found Tomcat. What else do you want from me? <clears throat> you didn't do shit. Among other things, I don't honestly want to talk to you about it. It happens. How did I make you mad? What did I do? Whatever. I'm not here to collect your tears and put you on some path to salvation or whatever. What the fuck are you talking about? If you need someone to absolve you of your guilt, go to a confessional, not me. Hey, uh, newsflash. I don't have any fucking guilt. I didn't do anything to you. I should, but I'm playing this differently, so let's go with the fucking first one. Apologizing for something I didn't fucking do, but okay, whatever. Sure you will. What, you want a cookie for trying? <sighs> Don't make it my problem again. I'm... A little pissed. For real. So let's just go. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Bitch. I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. No problem. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode, and any effort Holy to make shit. unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. I don't have any money, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. We should go ahead and get moving. Right? Oh, Drat, I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation Drat. is already growing out of our control. Aw, oh, shucks. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? No. Who would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Maybe I'm lying. Lexi. She's kind of new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment. Okay. Are oh, you done? I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I see. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. It's all good. You have a very poor net presence. <laughs> you have no idea how accurate that statement is.
It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. I don't even know my own my own needs anymore, Turing, so what's good? I it's a bit creepy when you do that. Uh sorry? It's okay. We'll work on it. Okay. Sounds good. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. I don't have a distaste for technology. I really don't. Because if I did, I wouldn't be doing this. Her right? online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Me too. Because it, it just makes it more... awesome. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. <laughs> okay. Detective Rivers, Turing. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? <laughs> done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Maybe. Now lead the way. Okay. I need to save at some point. Whatever. Save now. paper in your apartment and that shocks you that people in the future use paper people now still use paper what the fuck my apologies welcome to the neo san francisco richmond district police station citizen citizen meg Sounds like a movie. How may I be of assistance today? I don't know. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Sure. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. Cool. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. She is working in investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. I could take care of myself, but thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? I apologize, citizen, but I am not authorized to comment on ongoing investigations. I will pass your concerns on to the detective in charge. Is there anything else I can help you with? I am not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Have a Thanks. good day, citizen. 
citizen bag. Peace out, bro. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Okay. The fuck is that? I was trying to click on that thing floating in the screen. Water sounds really good right now. Eucalyptus soap. Many of the trees in this park are excellent specimens of the species. It's one of the only topics I've permanently committed to my personal memory. Nice. <laughs> oh, I do. However, I originally started by painting landscapes. My interest in the arts began through Bob Ross's work, and he focused on landscapes. Bob Ross. I used to watch him on PBS, man. That's it. I fucking love Bob Ross. He's awesome. It wasn't until recently that I moved on to other forms of composition. <laughs> Bob Ross? Yes. Have you heard of him? Of course I have. Who hasn't? During my initial stages of mental growth, Aiden limited my media access to mostly only educational programs. I only used to watch Bob Ross, man, on PBS. That's it. I love his art. I had almost a century of public access television to review, and I stumbled upon Mr. Ross's excellent show, The Joy of Painting. <laughs> I know, right? And I don't watch much TV, but I'll, I'll, like, I love Bob Ross, so naturally I would watch that, so. He used an easy-to-learn, wet-on-wet oil painting technique, and I started to paint along with the episodes. Wet-on-wet, wet, huh? I also find his philosophical views compelling. He often used anecdotal stories from his life to illustrate his opinions. That's true. And he had an ASMR voice. I respect the man quite deeply. I've committed all 403 episodes of the series to my personal memory. Cool story. Ah, yes. I don't actually store most information on my local memory. It's actually rather limited, and I have to be a bit choosy about what I keep. So most of the information I utilize, I just pull off the mesh net when needed. It's like relearning things over and over again. I'm 
sure you would find it tedious, but I enjoy making sure my reference tables are up to date in my spare clock cycles. Nice. I mostly store things locally if they are of some critical importance to me, like information pertaining to personal memories or knowledge that would be helpful if I found myself disconnected from the net. Oh my god, I read cut as something else. Okay. Well, as wow. I said, I keep things pertaining Good one, brain. to my personal memory. It may seem insignificant, but it without the information about eucalyptus globulus, I'd lack critical details about my painting history and the local area, both of which I find important to my emotional development. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know what's important and what isn't, but I fear losing parts of myself. Who doesn't? So, eucalyptus globulus stays. Good. You're cute. <laughs> of course I'm cute. The basic ROM form factor is designed to place us firmly outside of the uncanny valley. Turing, most people just say thank you. I can't imagine adoption rates for the technology would have been very high otherwise. Of course, enough about the happy little trees. <sighs> That's Bob Ross, all right. You'll have to excuse me for chattering on like that. Why? We'll have plenty of time to discuss things once we found Hayden. Wait, I want to touch it. Oh, you can't. Damn! Talk to it. Bye bye, birdie. <laughs> I love the references. Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel is still one of the outstanding attractions near the children's playground. I don't care. I don't think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. There's always time to ride a carousel. Killjoy Captain. Nice. Damn. that's comfortable and I don't wear hats I wear the hood on a hoodie but not hats so I don't I don't know whatever huh? Bye bye, Birdie. The musical had its 100th birthday just a couple years ago. See, I love the references. Like I said earlier, I love it. Not the Froyo stand. Guilty. I don't know why. Very destroy Froyo stand. Let the Froyo stand. Can't you see I'm busy here? No. You have your hands up like, I don't know. Stop being a dick. Look, 
I've gone through a lot today. Just give me some space, okay? Nope. You're gonna talk to me. Oh, why me? I just got taro flavor in. Can't you see I'm busy here? No. Whatever. Lexi! Oh, sorry. Hey there. <laughs> Long time. So. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. Huh, take your time. By the way, how's your sister doing? I don't know. She's fine, I guess. I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy? Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. I should call him Smash Brother. My guess? It's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. Light vandalism? Shit is fucking awesome. But the brass said to take just it seriously, kidding. so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Calm down. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. No. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. How often is that true? Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. And a Smash Brother. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Uh, hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. Okay. <laughs> this game is sick. <laughs> so, fill me in. What's going on? Give me a second. That boop 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 boop. What the fuck was that? Shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting them. a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Okay. Unfortunately, Detective, things aren't precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. Alright then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. Lexi, shh. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Hmm. I'll see what's going on in the department. Cool. 
I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. Uh -huh. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. I'm relaxed. No way, not gonna happen. Damn. Simple if there's no already an fine. investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. You don't have that time. Fuck. Don't you try to pull that guilt shit on me. Damn. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but that vigilante stuff gets real old after a while. <gasps> you shut your mouth. It's why I took this nice, stable job in the city. Stable, huh? If I'd done it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. No, that isn't what I meant. Do I? You don't even have proof there's dirty cops in on it, and I can't work off a hunch, not on an accusation that big. Do it. You think me feeding info to a journalist of all people isn't bad enough? Shh. Be quiet, Lexi. Don't be the dick. All right, fine. I'll yes. get you into the damn department. Trophy earned. Just be careful, Persuasion. okay? Yes! Why am I hyped for that? I don't fucking understand. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. Aww, thanks! You do that. I'll radio ahead to the bot of the place. Let me know what you find out. No. All right, I'd better get out of here. Hey you, Froyo guy. Come along to the station and we'll get this report filed. Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. It's fuck. what? What the crap? It's not Jesus going Christ. anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the The vibration crime scene. scared me. Y yes ma'am. Later. I'll be in touch. Later. Yo. Uh, I'm gonna save it right here. And I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm like really tired. I have been sleeping that well for the last couple of days. Insomnia galore, let me tell ya. I might, maybe, pick this back up later tonight if I can't sleep. Doubtful though, but whatever. Um, if I don't pick this up tonight again, um, probably in the next couple of days. And streaming, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, so... Anyways, thanks for watching, internet. I appreciate it as always, and I'll see you next time.